And then when we're ready... That's a lousy shot, but I think I took out a bush. Hey, my god, it floats. Oh my god. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And as you can see, we're at the main menu now, and in the bottom left, we are now in a new version, 0.7.10. And we have Planet Customizations. And I thought I'd start the episode here, because they changed the front menu a little bit. So now, when you go here, when you want to start a new game, you just hit Survival or Creative, so you choose one of those. And then it takes you into another menu, and then the load is still the same. you got your Creative and Survival loading modes. Lo loading lists. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, check out some of this customization. So we can go in here and just test standard or custom standard. I'm guessing it's just like basic procedural generation random randomization. But if we go to custom, and I've already had a look at this. So as you can see, we have many different things. We have a slider for the radius and kilometers, uh, the altitude difference from sea level to the top of the mountains, uh, water level, day-night cycle. Uh, how fast the night goes. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, how dense the animals are, and other things. We can even turn the weather on and off, so that's actually really good for creative builds. Uh, I thought there was supposed to be something about biomes that you could adjust to. Uh, apparently not. All right, but anyways, let's uh, see how small of a plant we can go. Okay, so we can go six, six kilometers, so that'd be 12 kilometers across, all the way up to 48 kilometers across. So it's actually pretty big. I was hoping it was going to be something really tiny. Let's go for like a super... I wonder if this... Let's actually test this. I want to see if this is going to make valleys and stuff like that. And we'll just... Uh, uh, let's bring the water level down a little bit. See what happens. And then let's see what we can do with the day-night cycle. So it's either 10 minutes or an hour. Okay, so I was hoping it was going to be a setting for infinite, but there is a setting to adjust night speed, so nighttime automatically goes faster, so you'd have a longer day cycle than a night cycle. Let's actually bring that down and check it out. We'll leave everything else on, and we'll take the weather off. I guess I do have to name it. Test world. Now, again, I thought there was supposed to be something about biomes that you could adjust. Uh, you can have a passive and whatnot, but let's go ahead and see what happens here. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if it's possible. Well, if you have the the altitude and the water level basically both at zero, it should be a super flat world. But I'm just curious about this negative number. Let's see what it does. Yeah, 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 I've seen that loading scene so many times. Yeah, it looks about the same to me. Alright, let's try a new one. Now, uh, click to the menu, yes. Let's try another one. Let's see if we get a super flat. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that didn't do anything at all. Maybe they just didn't have it set up for that. I'll go for a big plant, see how long it takes to generate it. Eh, does it actually say? Eh, let's go for a big one, why not? Plus 20 and then absolutely no water. Oh, and we gotta test this one. Or name this one. Bumpy Heights, if I could spell right. I think I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Either way, let's see what happens. Yeah, that definitely would have been nice to be able to create like uh, an entirely desert planet or just an entire water world. Give yourself one tiny little old mound or a starting post and just build everything off floating above the water even using the base foundations or the floating foundations and have like a, a floating city water world in the year 2100 
Oh, this is taking a while to generate. It's a big planet, mind you. It's going to be extreme terrain. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a little laggy. Oh, there are some mountains. Mountains everywhere. Ooh. I can see people building bridges across stuff like this. Let's see if we can get up to the top here. That's a very tall mountain. We're gonna even get stuff spawning up here too. Really interesting. Probably should be uh, sitting my train distance better. Now, would it be nice to actually be able to have like? actual water physics and have like a waterfall coming down from like this pool up here maybe a way to be able to actually create water sources yeah definitely not drivable terrain that's for sure all right let's i don't know if there's any other tests we can do let's actually try to make an entire water entirely water planet so we'll head back to the main menu and for the speed the speed of loading for the sake of loading time to bring that all the way down the altitude difference all the way down, water all the way up, and in this water world. I don't think the seed really is going to matter on this, but we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, they also did fix the, the hover pads not actually uh, being in hover mode unless you go into a cockpit, and we're going to test that in a minute here. Well, apparently the water level isn't being affected. Unless it's just generating more water. Because I had that water level up really high. Oh my god, I think I hit the ceiling. Yeah, it's not letting me fly any higher. Explains why it lands all so flat like this. I'm pretty sure I had the land set all the way down. Let's try this one more time. Alright, this one looks a little bit better. Lots of water. But still a couple of mountains. So I guess it's set to, to generate terrain no matter what. And that's just because of how the water works, I'm assuming. But it's definitely a good way of getting a lot of water without having to go through seed after seed after seed after seed after seed. And then there's, there's one last little thing I wanted to test before I actually uh, head up, head back to the lab and see how things are there, is the nest density. Because there was this too, and you can have no nests, so you can have like basically no animals, or you can all the way up to high density. So we'll go up to high density, I'm not going to worry about those two, and we'll just leave everything else to default. And max nests. And we'll just see how this one turns out. You know, I'm thinking about it now, uh, with the new monuments coming up in the point, point 0.8 update. Uh, you can make it so much easier to find them just by starting a new world on, uh, on uh, the smallest planet radius. Okay, so let's find some some animals. Now, when I saw max density, I was expecting them to be scattered all over the place like trees. And it's looking about the same to me. So it's yeah, it actually, does seem to be more than usual. Look at this. Oh yeah. I haven't turned off and not aggressive, are you? They're not aggressive to me, but they're just doing the animations. Oh, they're so cute. I want to kick them around like a soccer ball. Okay. I was expecting a little more on the customization, but... Yeah, it's not too bad. Anyway, uh, back to the lab. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take to load. Uh, 
I forget which one I'm loading here. That one. I'm, I'm, I guess they have the newest save at the top. I don't really pay attention. I always look at the time and date. Just go by the latest save. But it's kind of, I have to be careful because I'm like in the creative mode now. I'm juggling saves, so I always have to make sure that I'm loading the right one. And I probably should set a, set a master save for my creative world just because of that. Yeah, you can tell we're at the lab. But that spinner should start spinning right away. So I shouldn't have to worry about... Oh my god, is it laggy? Oh my god. So let's see. This thing is actually spinning now. Oh wait, I took it out, didn't I? I think I did. No, I see it. And it is spinning... Yes, it is. So it's been fixed. Oh, that's good. I've start have to start coming up with more ways to use those now, which also means that the turret should work on the tank now, or it should lift. I'm just go check that one quickly. Uh, I will be doing another stream again this weekend. It's going to be every weekend. Uh, it's going to be again Saturday. Uh, because of the shift I'm working this week, it's probably going to be, whoa, what happened there? Yeah, probably be an hour or two later start. We'll see what time I wake up and what, how long it takes me to actually wake up. But, uh, it's, oh, yeah, it's build mode. And turn that on. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong generator. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more work on the pinball table, and I, I'm also going to rework that elevator, too. Um, someone had pointed out that the hover pads have less angle. There we go. Less angle uh, angle of movement on steering than they do directional. So if I had this gun set up so that it was doing steering instead of directional, it probably wouldn't be as fast. Uh, it doesn't matter with the loading system because we just need to get it into the tube. But anyways, I think we're going to call the episode here. Uh, got a couple of things i got to take care of today. But uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, be interested to see what kind of planets you guys can come up with. Uh, send, me some, send me screenshots on Steam or email them to me or something. But anyways, uh, I will see you in the next one. Later.